Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for Wednesday, July 1st. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. So more stimulus checks were sent out today by the IRS for the first round of stimulus checks. So if you haven't yet checked your bank account this morning, I would strongly encourage that you do so. Okay, so in this video, I'll be discussing both the first and second rounds of stimulus checks, including what Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are calling Mitch McConnell out for. I'll also be going over the current unemployment situation, the EIDL grant, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly liking this video, giving me a big thumbs up, it really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other people like you and hopefully helping other people like you. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know whether or not you received your first stimulus check yet or not. Believe it or not, unfortunately, there are still millions of Americans who haven't even received their first stimulus check, even though we're already talking about a second round of stimulus checks. So leave a comment below letting me and others know whether or not you received your first stimulus check yet or not. Okay, so I just wanted to start this video out by addressing one very important thing. In these stimulus check update videos, I'm not always going to be able to provide huge groundbreaking information. Not every day will bring some huge newsworthy event. And as far as the next stimulus bill even being passed, we're looking at some point either in late July or early August. So which means best case scenario, we're looking at some point in late August or early September to receive our next stimulus checks. So while I can't always bring the most positive and best news, I always do try to shine a positive light on every situation, which of course, as we all know, isn't always the easiest to do. We live in a very dark time right now. I know, at least speaking for myself, whenever I first heard about the virus in China, I didn't think it would be anywhere near as big of a deal as it is right now. I didn't envision this virus would have any impact on the states whatsoever. And even when the United States had their first case, I did not think it would play much of an impact. I did not think this virus would actually spread to a statewide issue. And then we saw a statewide outbreak, which soon followed by a worldwide pandemic. I don't think any of us saw that coming. And then shortly after that, the whole world economy pretty much shattered. We got sent home from work. We had to begin practicing social distancing. A world we were all once used to, full of interaction with other humans, turned into a world of secludedness. And for many, that transition wasn't incredibly easy, even for the most introverted of us. So even though I'm not yet able to come out and say, check your bank accounts, your second stimulus checks are going to be there. Unfortunately, I can't bring that good of news. I do try to find all of the relevant stories and shine a positive light on each situation, while at the same time not being unrealistic about a second round of stimulus checks. With all that said, I do hope that each and every one of you and your families are doing well and hanging in there. And I hope that the return to normalcy, at least the normalcy that we once knew, isn't too much further away. All right, so at this point, I just wanted to touch base real quickly on the first round of stimulus checks. And yes, like I mentioned before, unfortunately, there are still millions of people who haven't even received their first round of stimulus checks, which is pretty incredible considering we may only be a month or so away until the second round of stimulus checks get passed. Now, as I also mentioned earlier in the video, the IRS did send out some direct deposits this morning on the 1st. So if you haven't yet checked your bank account, I would encourage you to do so and leave a comment in the comment section below if you did get paid this morning. If you didn't get paid, no worries. Continue checking the payment portal. If you're receiving payment status not available, that does not mean that you're not eligible for the stimulus payment. That just means the IRS has not yet scheduled a delivery date and the next wave of direct deposits are set to go out next Wednesday on July 8th. So I would expect within the next couple of days, people should begin to see payment dates of July 8th through the payment portal. Remember, the IRS is going to continue sending out more and more checks each week, so you will eventually receive a date and you will eventually receive your payment if you are eligible to receive your stimulus payment. Now, recently, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer reached out to Mitch McConnell in the form of a letter. And you can probably already get somewhat of a sense of what was included in that letter. Basically, to summarize this entire letter, Pelosi and Schumer were pretty much just urging McConnell to finally take up their demands and get moving on this next stimulus bill. They felt that the GOP was missing in action, being that the House Democrats passed the HEROES Act one and a half months ago, and to date, that bill still has not even been touched, and the Senate still isn't talking about the next stimulus package. They wrote, now is the time for action, not continued delays and political posturing. We are outraged that instead of holding bipartisan negotiations during the June work period, you chose to instead prioritize the confirmation of right-wing judges in several Republican-led committees devoted precious time to chasing President Trump's wild conspiracy theories. They then went on to write, it is unacceptable that the Senate would recess without addressing this urgent issue. 
On behalf of millions of American families who desperately need congressional action, we demand you change your mind and decide to work with us for the good of the country. Now, Mitch McConnell called the $3 trillion HEROES Act dead on arrival, calling it nothing more than a Democratic wish list. In addition to stimulus checks, the HEROES Act also included things such as immigration, mail-in voting, and also releasing federal prisoners. McConnell also made it very clear they weren't even going to touch the next bill or talk about the next stimulus bill until they got back from their two-week recess vacation in mid-July, which is where I think most of the frustration is coming from, from a lot of Americans. McConnell stated, sometime in July, we'll take a snapshot of where the country stands, see how the jobs are coming back, see where we think we are, and if there is a final rescue package, that's when it will develop and it will start once again in my office. McConnell also went on to say that the House bill approved back in May was no serious effort. However, at least in my opinion, the big problem here is that even if McConnell did see the HEROES Act as a joke and he didn't like several of the things in the bill, even if he did see it as a Democratic wish list, he still spent all of June doing everything but putting a stimulus bill together. Even if you completely despise the bill that the Democrats passed, you still have your own power to work on your own bill. Don't sit around all of June doing nothing, giving yourself only a few weeks in July to get a stimulus bill passed. That just does not look very good. So while I do agree that we shouldn't be pushing multiple pieces of legislation into one bill, we also probably should not be sitting around on our hands doing absolutely nothing. And again, that is just my opinion. On July 3rd, the Senate will go on recess through July 19th. On July 20th, the Senate will return to recess and they'll have all the way through August 7th to come up with some type of bipartisan stimulus bill and hopefully get it passed. So that will give them three full weeks to come up with a bill and a bill that they can get behind and a bill that's also bipartisan, meaning that the House Democrats can also get behind so they can hopefully push this bill through. If they can come up with that feat of writing a bill and a bill that's bipartisan and getting that pushed through before they go on their next recess. Then we're looking at probably best case scenario of receiving the next round of stimulus checks, sometimes either in late August or early September. Worst case scenario, if the Senate comes back and they're not able to come up with a bipartisan bill by August 7th, then they'll be going on another recess vacation through September 7th, which means the stimulus checks will get pushed back another month. And if that happens to be the case, then we're probably looking at stimulus checks sometime in late September or early October at best. And if you want to look at the absolute worst case scenario, if that gets pushed back another month, that could potentially slow momentum down for a second round of stimulus checks, and we may not receive any at all. For that to happen though, you'd have to think that the economy would be showing major signs of improvement. Another big thing that we have going on at the moment is that the $600 federal boost to unemployment is set to end on July 31st. At the moment, the Senate has absolutely no plans on renewing that, and instead they actually have some type of alternative such as a $450 back to work bonus. And again, if we want to look at some more worst case scenarios, if the $600 federal boost to unemployment runs out, we're looking at 20 million Americans who have $600 less per week. Now, you may be wondering, why is this important here? It's important because if we have 20 million Americans with $600 less in their pockets each week, they're gonna be spending less money. There's gonna be less money going out into the economy which is also going to hurt other businesses and it's going to hurt the economy as well. So if that does happen and we see less money flowing into the economy, then we may see more and more businesses begin to lay off their employees. So we'll see more job layoffs, more unemployment. Quite honestly, things could get really, really bad. So if we can't figure out some type of unemployment fix, economic experts worry that the economy could really suffer and we could see a huge spike in the unemployment rate. So with all that said, you really have to question why the Senate would even be going on their two week recess. In my opinion, we have a very big potential emergency that needs to be tended to now. Not two weeks from now, not three weeks from now, not a month from now. It's very important, it's very urgent, and it needs to be cared for now. But after all, these are politicians we're talking about, career politicians, and they're completely out of touch with reality. To them, if another stimulus bill doesn't pass, it's not really a big deal. They'll just go back to the one of their vacation homes and their life will return to normalcy. They won't take any type of pay cut. They'll get paid the same. Their life will remain as normal. To them, at least in my opinion, they are not taking the situation seriously. There is absolutely no urgency right now, and quite frankly, it's just disappointing. 
Okay, so at this point, I just wanted to quickly remind everyone about the $1,000 EIDL grant. If you have any type of side hustle or a small business, you are eligible to receive $1,000 per employee, up to 10 employees, so you could receive anywhere between $1,000 to $10,000. If you don't have any employees, you just drive Uber or have your own eBay store, for example, you would be the employee, so you would be eligible for $1,000. It only takes about three to five minutes to fill out the application, and I will leave a link in the description box below where you can fill that out. If you have any question or doubt whatsoever whether or not you would be eligible for this, just apply. You have nothing to lose. And I've seen some comments from people who applied for the grant, and then just a few days later, they received a direct deposit of their $1,000 EIDL grant money. So if you have any hesitation whatsoever, just apply. You have nothing to lose here. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna wrap up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. And if you have any other comments or questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer as many comments and questions as I possibly can. And those comments and questions that I'm not able to get to, I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first comment of today's video. That is from Kathy. Kathy says, I need to know when the second stimulus check will be coming to me, please. All right, thank you so much for that comment. So I actually kind of addressed this question in my video today. At the moment, in my opinion, the Senate is going to get something through whenever they get back from their vacation in mid to late July. So I think we'll probably be seeing the second round of stimulus checks in late August or possibly early September. Again, that's just my opinion and my optimistic thinking. It's possible we may not see a second round of stimulus checks, but I think they are going to get something passed. Nancy Pelosi wants a second round. Mitch McConnell hasn't denied that he doesn't want a second round of stimulus checks. And Donald Trump even came out and essentially guaranteed a second round of stimulus checks. So with all that factor in, I think we'll definitely see a second round of stimulus checks and I would expect them sometime in late August or early September. All right, so the next question today is from Sherry. Sherry says, I don't work and I'm not on SSI or social security and I filled out the non-filing tool on the 18th. When will I get my check or card? Please help. All right, Sherry, thank you so much for that comment. So since you did fill out the non-filers too on the 18th, which you did correctly, you were supposed to do that. Within two weeks, you're supposed to be able to go back into the payment portal and it's supposed to update within two weeks. So two weeks from the 18th, I would go back into the payment portal and you should be able to see some type of date. If it says payment status not available, that simply means they have not yet scheduled a delivery date, but you may see a date when you go in and check. Your payment should be coming very, very soon. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so and is a great support to me. Also, if you would like to receive one free stock from Robinhood valued all the way up to $500, feel free to claim that free stock by clicking the link in the description box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys and I hope you have a great day today.